It is a great honor to be able to sit with you here in Switzerland and see all of your beautiful faces, so many different colors and places that you come from, so many backgrounds. When I look out, I, I see my family, the tribe of many colors, and I am just, I'm really pleased to be here with you today. It was several months ago that I was at another workshop working in in Arizona, in the United States. And I went outside to say my prayers, as I do every night. And I was shown something very particular. I was shown a very beautiful city. And the bells were ringing. And in front of me stood this great big building, which I thought was a church. And it was lit with lights around it. And I was told to go to Switzerland, that the people needed to hear the message. And I said, okay, I will go. And it wasn't a week later that I received Vietcam's invitation. And I said, yes, I will go, knowing that I had to go to Switzerland. And today, as I was saying my prayers just right outside, the bells started chiming. And I looked up at this building with the lights around it. And I realized I was here. I was seeing it for the second time. So I know I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. My name is Keisha Crowther, and I come from a very, very small town in Colorado. And ever since I was a child, I was able to see energy inside of anything that was alive. Many colors vibrate through anything that is alive. And I've been able to be able to speak to animals and hear what they have to say from a very young age. And most people think that would be really cool, but as a little kid, I knew that I was very, very different. And so this made my life very hard, not being like everyone else. And I was learning lessons from the other side. A voice would teach me very specifically things that I needed to learn so that one day I would be able to teach these things. But for a long time, I, I just thought I was crazy. I thought I was different and I didn't understand why I was hearing and being taught from a voice. I didn't understand why I was seeing energy or why I could hear animals. And for a long time, I just thought I didn't have a place in this world. But when I turned 30, I received a phone call from the indigenous tribes of North America and an elder told me they knew that I was being taught by the other side since a very young age. And they told me it was time for me to become the one to be called Little Grandmother and become a shaman and a wisdom teacher. And that there were others just like me. There were 11 others wisdom keepers who were just like me receiving the same messages. And we had a very important role to play on planet Earth. I was not raised to be a public speaker and so this is very hard for me, I'm still learning. But I did promise to, to be the best wisdom keeper I could be and to be the best shaman that I could be. And so although it is scary, I am here to teach you about the lessons I was taught from the other side, from Mother Earth and from my indigenous elders, the, the Continental Council of Indigenous Elders. A long time ago on planet Earth, something incredible happened and the poles shifted. And the people living at that time, a long time ago, were the Atlanteans, the Lumerians, and the Sumerians. They were very real people not things that you read in story tales or fairy tales. They were very real. They were our ancestors. And when the poles shifted, an ice age began. And they started to go through this ice age. And then when the ice started to melt, the waters came up and started taking over their lands. And when the waters rose, they got into their different ships and went to different places of our planet and started living in different areas of our continents. The Mayan people are Atlanteans. The Aborigine people are Atlanteans. 
the Hawaiian peoples and the peoples of the Indonesian islands are the Sumerian people. The Wataha people of New Zealand are Lumerians. And so their ancient teachings and their ancient wisdoms are still alive on our planet today. Okay. Their ancestors held these truths and now these truths are being asked to give it back to the people. Their prophecies, these people's prophecies for hundreds of years have been talking about a time on our planet when the poles would shift again and now it is upon us. For hundreds and hundreds of years the prophecies from indigenous tribal people have been saying a time would come when Mother Earth would shift and be reborn into her heaven. And at this time, the people living on planet Earth would have to switch from living from a mind consciousness into a heart consciousness if they wish to enlighten during this shift. They spoke of a people who would come to the planet, the strongest of the strong of all souls and all spirits to arrive. And these people would shift the consciousness from mind consciousness into heart consciousness and change the world. And these people would be called the tribe of many colors. And we are the tribe of many colors. It is us that they were talking about. We are the ones we have been waiting for. The pole shift is happening. It is not going to happen. It has already begun. It is no longer a story that the elders are saying will happen. They are saying it is happening. Due North is no longer due North. It is changing all over the planet. And the poles will not stop shifting until it is completely shifted. A universal truth that we must understand is that Mother Earth is sacred to all beings. And we, the human beings living upon her, will not be allowed to kill her. And yet we have come very, very close. We have done things that we do not have answers for. We have done things to planet Earth that none of our science has a way to fix. We are the ones that must